welcome back to the channel. Today, well, today we are not going to be getting into the bee barn. We're going to give these girls a chance to rest down in the bottom and start building their brood nest and hopefully let the bees that are in the top boxes above the queen excluder hatch and go down below. And then we're going to start using these as honey supers. But we are going to go through some hives today. We're going to go through the Army and the Navy hive back in the back bench. Now, those hives were not heated. The rest of my hives were heated over the winter. Those were not, but they're still very strong hives. And the last time we were in there, the Army hive had a ton of hive beetles. I guess I was raising hive beetles all winter long along with the bees. But I guess that's a good thing because the bees were generating enough heat for themselves and the hive beetles. That being said, we are going to go through there, smash any hive beetles we see, remove any apivar strips that I happen to have left in that hive, and then we're going to stack the flow hives on top and get those things ready to go because I tell you what, the pollen is coming in and the fruit farm up the street is in bloom. Some of these trees are in bloom, which means that the nectar is going to start flowing you know, pretty soon. So let me get my gear on and we will jump back into the Army and Navy hive and see what's going on. Well, there is a goose battle going on out here. Son of a gun. It's a, it's a quest for dominance. These geese are yelling at those geese, and those geese are yelling at those geese, and those geese are yelling at these geese. Holy moly. All right, let's get started here. Hi, girls. Oh, here's something else. We're not going to be using the killing board, not yet, this season. I've got a, uh, got a screwdriver. We're going to stick this down there and smash any hive beetles we see in the comb. I've been using my fingers, and, and that's damaging the comb too much. This is going to get me right down in there. Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. All right, bees. See all the, all the maple blossoms on here already. Oh, and there's a cockroach. And this hive is slap full of bees. Holy moly. Hi, girls. I'm coming in. Coming in. No stinging the bug farmer. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay. There's a hive beetle already. Where'd he go? All right, we already had one hive beetle. Got some water inside this hive. Oh, there's the hive beetle. Oh, you're a goner. Big smash around You're done. Kaput. The pollen patty that I'd put on here before, they've eaten most of it, but some of it molded. We're going to uh, clear that off the top. Get off there, girls. Watch out. You want to keep your hive clean. Oh, hive beetles. Hive beetles. Hive beetles. Why are you not in the oil trap? Four oil traps in here. What are you doing? There's another one. Goodness. Okay, I knew it was going to be bad. I knew it was going to be bad. Let's see what we can do here to, to fix up your hive beetle situation. This hive is packed with bees. Okay, let's see how many hive beetles are in here. Don't want to oh, there's one climbing out of the oil trap. Don't do it. What are you doing? I can still see oil in this trap. There's another one. It's like they're living in there. There's another one. Got the old smasheroni. Oh, they're living underneath the trap. Yeah, it's pretty tricky. Pretty tricky. This has been propolized down. Last thing I want to do is spill oil in these hives. I really I don't like using oil traps, but I hate hive beetles even more. Here's the first one. Slow and steady. Loaded with hive beetles. Okay. Alright. Next trap. Trap two. Okay. Easy. Okay. For as many hive beetles as I see, in the there's some inside there just walking around. What are you doing? 
Get down in that oil. Why are you not in the oil? Nice. Hey now. What are you doing? Don't, don't start lighting your pheromone on me. I'm here to help. All right, ladies. All right, let's see what we have going on inside here. We've got a nice cluster right in the middle. Let's see it. All right, ladies. A lot of nothing going on there, and that is oh, okay. I don't see any ooh, any hive beetles. Yeah, there's there's a couple. I'm going to get them. Okay, we have removed all of the hive beetles from this frame. There were a ton of them. Okay, I hear you. Why do you want to Why do you want to sting me? Don't you see I'm helping you? Myself a cloud of smoke. Chillax, chillax. All right. Okay, I've got a bee that is determined to sting me. What is your deal, guard? No, 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 no. I am here to help. I am your friend. The bug farmer is not the enemy. All right, let's see what we got here. Holy moly. Okay, what do we have here? Holy moly, that is a full frame. Oh, of beetles. Holy moly. Not on that side, but wow. Bunch of them on here. Kaput. Kaput. Drowned you in honey. Kaput. Kaput. Okay, those beetles are gone. Any more here? Oh, there's one more there. Son of a gun. Come on. Go in there. Oh. You're a toast. Okay. Oh, more open brood down there. Oh, this is a full frame of brood. You can see that. Oh, and a queen cell. Right down at the bottom. Okay. Ladies. Nothing is in the queen cell, so we're going to go ahead and remove that today. Gone. Oh, ladies. Okay, another frame of brood. Both sides. I see the queen. I don't, but that's not really important here because we know that she is in this box. Who is she ever? Okay, so here's the thing. I've seen enough in this hive to know that A, I've got a lane queen. Two, the, oh, there's another. Just a slamming. Oh, there's the queen. Okay, there she is, right there. There's our queen. Okay. We know that she is right there. I'm going to go ahead and drop this frame right down in there. Put all of these back. Let's see, as I saw an ape of our strip down in the bottom, I'm going to remove that. And we are going down a level. Just remove that ape of our, and then we are going to get out of this hive. There you go. Holy moly, all that drone brood. Remove that. There you go. Here you go. And I have a present for you. There you go. There you go, girls. Here's your queen excluder. This is this is where you start to like me. This is where you start to like me. 
here is your flow hive. Your colony has just expanded. All right, one done. Let's go to the Navy hive. This one by far had the worst hive beetle situation in it. The last time I was in here, these girls should not be that bad. Come on girls, it's flow time. It's flow hive time for you. Now this hive doesn't have a deep and a medium, it's got two mediums. That was because that's all I had in the fall. Hello ladies. Oh, beetles. 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 Those beetles were right where the commenter said they would be. Right around the pollen patties. Son of a gun. Alright, so I'm going to need to come up with a solution for that. I like feeding the pollen patties. But I guess open feed is going to be the way to go unless I can come up with another solution. Okay, so this, these two hives. These hives are back in the shade. And they ran the Guardian all last year. Now, granted, I had screen bottom boards. But they ran the Guardian and no, no beetles were supposed to be able to get in here. These, these hives are loaded with beetles. Well, I, I didn't see so many in here. I saw a few in here, a bunch in there. But the beetle traps are slapped full. So I'm wondering, you know, the Guardian. Is the Guardian going to work? And we're going to find out on, on the bee barn this year. But it reminds me of a fishing lure I bought. I live on a lake out here. Some of you have seen it if you've been to this channel before. I live on a lake, and I, and I, I found this lure. It, it looked like a little bluegill, like a baby bluegill. And it articulated, and it looked like it swam. And I would cast it and look at it in the water. It looks like it was swimming right towards you. The problem... The problem is that that lure never caught a fish. Never, ever. Not once. I used it all the time. Never caught a fish. But I'll tell you what it did catch. It caught the fisherman. I bought it. I saw it. I bought it. I loved it. It was great. I loved to play with it in the water, but it never caught a fish. And I'm wondering, now speculation and opinion, but I'm wondering if the Guardian is the same way. Was it designed to capture, to catch beekeepers, to sell to beekeepers, to get us to buy it, to solve a problem that, that it didn't solve. We'll see. We're going to find out this year in the bee barn. Okay, ladies. Okay, we have some nectar coming in. This is all nectar right here. Oh, and I see a ton of hive beetles. Okay, going to the killing board. Okay, that frame is living on the killing board so the bees can get back on it. There must have been 30 hive beetles on there. Unbelievable. Just do not like hive beetles. Don't like them. Okay, I don't see any on here, but they are drawing this comb out. They're drawing that comb out. That is good. That tells me that they have found the nectar. I guess that first frame was the beetle jail. All right, girls. Oh, this is a heavy frame. Okay, here we have brood. And what looks like practicing queen cups. I don't know what these are, but we're going to remove them. There you go. <laughs> Oh man, bad, bad move. Bad move, bug farmer. Don't drop the queen. Don't drop the queen. She could have been on there. Oh no. Oh no. Because that is a full frame of brood. Could have had a queen on there. Oh, I hope I didn't just kill the queen. Okay. Bad move. Don't do that again. Let me go looking on the ground here. I don't see the queen. Chances are that was all okay. Except I've angered the bees now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't, don't, don't sting me. Don't sting me. Okay. We have more brood. More brood up here. More brood on this side. Okay, this hive is doing good. Oh, the next frame is filled with brood too. Okay. Okay, we just need to go down one level. Move that ape of our strip. 
then I will give you your flow hive. Hi, girls. Okay. Let's get you off there a second. I know, I see some of your brood broken open there, and I'm sorry. I know, I just want this. And then I want to clean some of this up. You don't need cattywampus comb, ladies. Come on. Come on. Now comes the part where you like me. Now comes the part where you like me. You know what this means? It means you're getting more space. There you go. Now this is your faux hive. This is the flow hive that I built. It houses the uh, all the components. So here's the thing. So this is the o this is the non OEM flow hive that I made out of a out of a box. Um, it works just like a flow hive. It, you can tap it just like a flow hive. And for those who have seen my how to build a flow hive and save four hundred dollars or six hundred dollars or whatever it is. I keep getting a lot of comments where people think that I'm using the Chinese knockoff frames in here. I am not. I did find these frames. These are OEM Flow Hive frames. Let me see if it says Flow Hive on here anywhere. Registered patents. All the patents. Let's take a look right there. All the patents are right there. These are Flow frames from HoneyFlow.com. Here it goes, right here. I don't know whether the camera's going to show this or not, but you can see honeyflow.com or honeyflow right there. It's written in, in plastic. But these are OEM frames. I did find these on eBay. I guess somebody didn't want to do the flow hive. They bought it and then realized they didn't want to do it. So I got a great deal on them. Um, now you can use the Chinese knockoffs if that's what you want to do. That's not something that I um, want to do. But uh, if that gets you into beekeeping, hey, do what you got to do. From what I understand, they work well, but these are OEM flow hive frames in a non flow hive box, and that is an OEM flow hive with OEM flow hive frames in it. So, everything that I have for my flow, as far as the frames go, are from honeyflow.com. They are the real deal. Here's the lid. All right, well, there you go, the end of another adventure. Uh, we did manage to accomplish our goal today and get through the Army and the Navy hive. And both hives were infested with beetles just as I thought they might be. But we did manage to kill everything we saw in the Army hive. And the Navy hive actually sent us off to the killing board, but we squashed a lot of beetles and, and they're in good shape now. Um, but we did manage to accomplish our goal and get those hives gone through. We did find the queen on the Army hive. We removed the ape of our strips, and most importantly, we gave them a flow super. So now both of those hives back in the back are going to be my flow hives for the year. Let's just hope we can keep the hive beetles out with the guardian on the front and the bottom board sealed. But with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, take a moment, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I try to drop a video every Friday. I try to keep it light and have fun here. So there you go. With all that said, be happy, and I will see you next week. Take care.